They are. You're fighting and you're continuing to live to fight for them. We know. I trust him. I think that it's part of another plan that you don't know, King. I truly think that so, it's not selfish and right now it's a part of a plan of a bigger plan. It's not only for him and his wife. Even if I would understand if it would be only for him and his wife, I would understand his reasons. Maybe right there he gave the name of that boy, you know, that they tried to... Are you? She knows you. Yeah. We love to match these two together. The way I see it, I've been living on borrowed time for well past a decade now. My faith will not discourage them from keeping that going. They're gonna continue and they're gonna continue with you, you're not gonna die. Not all is a good man. I soon realized that while I wasn't the one swinging the bat, I nevertheless had blood on my hands. I knew what was happening. I hated myself for that. Merci. So I did something. He's talking about you also right there. I learned that one person can do that. And sometimes all it takes is one person. Eugene is talking about himself, Eugene is talking to the crowd, but also to you, Mercer. Thank you. The Commonwealth finds Eugene Porter guilty of murder and sorcery. One hour! Outside. Not the king in particular. Yes, I'm into a denial, a big fucking denial. Shut the fuck up. Yes, 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 it's an execution. You're gonna punish one person. The person that Nigan, you know, he named. You. You, boy. I trust Nigan. I trust Nigan. I trust Nigan. This prisoner has admitted to spearheading a rebellion. Himself, he gave himself. That's why he said that he might well. die before the end. So only he will be punished. That was your plan, Negan. You're not gonna die, that's it. it. I'm not worried anymore. Yeah. Hey, hey. I said it, I'm worried about her. I love you. Get him on his knees. You do, and that's why you're doing that. This is what happens when you forget your place. 
See, that's what is really wrong about the announce of the spin-off. I'm not worried for him. I should, I should cry right now. Your wife, your wife, they're gonna take your wife. F fuck you, fuck me, I knew it! I knew it, that's what I said, I knew it, I fucking knew it. Because he has a family, he's gonna do it. He needs to protect his family. To obey. King? He's creating a moment of face like he said he would do. <laughs> I admire your bravery. Shoot them all. All oh, guys are gonna intervene. Come on. You don't have to do this. This world is broken. But we don't have to be. What Judy said, I didn't mean. Oh, I love that guy. You're gonna die, but I love you. He's the only one who wants to die. Come on. The soldiers, the soldiers, they are gonna tell us. Come on, we can do it, we can do it. Next episode, we're gonna save the kids. Lydia being a whisper again. Um, are we sure that. Uh, Oh, if we, if you made them come back just to kill them right there. You wanna take it? Oh really? They want so... <laughs> really now? So clever now to do it? It's a little insane. Okay, you're asking him, but the, the soldiers, they don't know? That's poor Rosita. I, I know, I know that she, she has really big, big reasons for their swept like that. But, you know... What Ezekiel just said about the fact that you don't have to be broken as this world. Eugene is not gonna die. Oh, you're crying! Time to fuck shit up. That's not... No! I'm not gonna watch this trailer of the next episode. You know the rule, no trailer, no spoilers. 
I want to be surprised by this episode, these two last episodes that we're gonna have, so I'm not gonna watch any picture, I'm not gonna search for any information, I want to discover everything watching this episode, I don't want to have any spoilers. Guys, it's already, you know, my rule. In general, so for sure, for the end of a show that I'm following since 11 seasons, it's gonna continue to be the rule and even more. Only two episodes, we want to be surprised, we want to appreciate everything during the episode itself, to be surprised, to have all of the emotions really high, to not expect already what is gonna happen and all. Oh, no. Two episodes, two, two, two episodes. Okay, guys, I, I, I have, I know that, <laughs> I know that I cried during this episode and I know that I might seem delusional and stuff like that. But I only see good news during this episode. <laughs> like, I was wrong. I was wrong about Negan and the fact that acting like that was a part of a big plan and all. No, it was a part of his plan to save his wife. He didn't want to denounce Ezekiel and also the boy. I thought that the boy might be his target and all. And the fact, you know, that they showed us that boy, that we had that discussion with that boy. I was like, why? Like, why losing time with that character? I mean, for the writers. For me, it meant that the writers that were preparing the fact that this boy would be important into the next scenes. So I really thought that it would be him. I never thought that it would be the king. I didn't think enough about the fact that it could be Negan denouncing himself. Not because I didn't think, you know, that Negan was someone great and stuff like that. Not at all. Really, because I thought that it was a part of a bigger plan. It was not. It was really Negan thinking about saving his wife and his kid and sacrificing himself. Like he promised to do some episodes ago, I think, to the king. No, it was during the last episode. He said to the king something like, I'm not gonna survive to everything. I'm gonna die before. Like, I'm not gonna come back with you. He said something like that. So I should have thought about it. I didn't. But you know, them pointing their guns at Negan, it's killing the suspense and it's killing me being worried about the situation, being afraid for the person to who they are pointing the gun because we have the amount of the spin-offs. We had them months ago, so we know since months that Nikan is gonna survive. So for sure, I was not afraid for him, I was not worried for him. But since the beginning of this episode, and in fact since two episodes, I think I'm worried for his wife really because they insisted so much the fact that he loves her he would do everything for her and his kid the fact that she makes him so happy and stuff like that showing us so many moments of joy into the walking dead it can only mean that you're gonna kill one of these two people and because of the fact that we know that Negan is gonna survive I was like okay that's it she's gonna die so really during this moment I was afraid of her dying I love so much that the king you know is doing that being like no no one is gonna die come on you have to kill me also if you want to do that all of our guys following that thing you know that move it's not a surprise we know that they are united like that and again, during the last episode, the king, he talked about the fact that you have to give them a moment of faith, a moment, you know, for them to really believe that they can do something else, that they can fight, that something, yeah, something else is possible. So it was great to have that moment. It was an emotional moment. I'm so glad that this trooper, he decided to go on our side because it was so risky for him. We discovered during the last episode the fact that they are forced to obey for their own family and I really loved that the writers, they insisted on that. The fact that the first trooper didn't want to give information because he wanted to protect his family. The fact that the other guy, he killed himself because he didn't want to give any information for his family. So right there for that trooper to decide to go with our guys it was so risky and it meant so much, you know, for him, 
So that way I'm glad, even if I don't know him, I'm really glad that he did that. The fact that the other one, he didn't say anything about the kids, where they are, and knowing that he would die, it's not a surprise. He knew that he would die because of that dead or because of something else. <laughs> At this point, he really didn't care and he was someone who truly believed into the Commonwealth and all of this organization, so it's not a surprise for him to not say anything. For Rosita to react like that, I don't think that it's a good reaction because Doing that just after the king saying this is a broken world, we don't need to be as broken as this world. Right there what Rosita did, it was cruel. We know that she has her reasons and it's good reasons, but you know how it happened? Right there, you know, the logic of these things, I'm not sure. So that's for that part. I'm glad that Maggie shares her short back, but for sure I'm worried for all of the other kids. So we have that. We have the situation into the Commonwealth with all of this trial around Eugene. Right there, I know that I'm into a big denial because, you know, I, I, I know also when I'm in, really into a denial and too much because I don't know for sure that Eugene is going to survive. It's me who is choosing to believe. And to believe not in Eugene in particular because I was pretty sure that he would be condemned but in Mercer and all of what the writers created around Mercer around the fact that he's so respected, so appreciated by all of these people around the fact that he's close to Max, Max who loves Eugene and all of that story you know about their dad and about making him proud by doing the right thing you know they created the writers so many things around Mercer the fact that he can be a good leader the fact that he appreciates people that we love and he agrees with a lot of things that they do the fact that he doesn't like what is happening right there they created so many stuff that I was just waiting for Mercer to switch so right there that's in at the end I'm glad but during all of this time still to see Eugene being so worried and so sad, to see him crying, for sure it's gonna make me emotional. Even if I was not worried for Eugene truly, I'm emotional because of the things that he says and because of the fact that this character believes that he could die. And we have that other situation with Lydia, Aaron and the other ones. And you know, I said it at the beginning of the episode, for now it feels like we're losing time with them, I mean, on screen, you know, we are losing time on screen for them, for that part of the story. And for now, it feels like we are losing time, not because of these characters, I love these characters, but because of the fact that I don't see where the writers are going with them and how important it is to have them, to have that story. Right now, when we have only three episodes, now only two episodes to end everything, do you understand what I mean? We have all of the situation with the Commonwealth, all people outside that we need to release. That's it, it's done, but we still have the kids to worry about. All of the situation into the Commonwealth, we need to change all of that. And also all of the situation with the army of dead coming, with some of them being clever now. So clever that is so... He saw that thing falling, he took it, he, he can have a plan, you know, with it. He's gonna plan, you know, to, to use it. They're so clever now to that. Uh, that evolution was uh, like that, you know, like uh, suddenly clever dead. Okay, just to say that, see, we have so many things to resolve, so many things to do, that following Aaron, Lydia, all of that group, it feels like we're losing time because for now their story doesn't connect with the main ones. At some point it's gonna connect, but for now I think that the way that it's gonna connect with the main stories it's the fact that now they are into the dead, that army of deaths coming. So maybe they can fight from the inside, it's gonna be it's gonna be important at some point to have a life inside of this army of dead coming. But it means that for at least one entire episode they're gonna continue to play, you know, at being the dead. 
Oh, we are so glad that you learned how to be a whisperer and stuff like that, Lydia. <laughs> Thank you, Alpha. Thanks to you, they're all gonna survive right there. But yes, uh, the only thing, you know, that I can think of for this story to be important so much that we are using at least 10 minutes, 10 entire minutes of this final episode right there one of the final episodes, I mean, right there, for that story, it means that it's important and it's going to be useful. So for now, it's the only thing that I can think about, you know, for this story to be useful and important. That important, again, that we are using 10 entire minutes for them. Because for really the facts, now they are just walking into the woods. They are too late for Shen side, they are far away from our group, you know, in Alexandria to save people in Alexandria. They are not doing anything, you know, against the Commonwealth. Really, right now it's just a group right there walking to the woods. So now that they are with the dead, yes, maybe they can be useful because of that. Two episodes. Two episodes, guys. In this intro, I said it, I saw these three episodes like that. Want to release our guys, want to do something about the Commonwealth, want to do something to have that big fight against the dead, again, to put the dead at the real enemies, to say that they are now also, like at the beginning, they were the real enemies, they are now also the real enemies because they are and stuff like that, you know, to to conclude things about this show also to finish like we began with the dead being the real enemies I was right, you know, for this episode because that's it, we conclude the situation with our guys we have them back even if we still have the kids out there so it means that the kids for me, they are into the Commonwealth. It means that they stayed into the Commonwealth. Because we need everyone to get back to the Commonwealth. We need that. We need everyone to get back, to resolve the situation into the Commonwealth, but also to prepare the fight against that army of dead coming into the Commonwealth. So, the kid, you know, for... A logic reason for how to write a story, I think that the kids, they never left the Commonwealth. You know, the, that big place. Okay, so next episode, we were gonna return the Commonwealth Revolution and all of our guys being back. Final, final episode, the army of dead and the conclusion of everything. For the story, I'm not so worried. I said it in intro, for the stories, I'm not so worried. They have the time to conclude everything. Yes, they're gonna take shortcuts, but they can do it. For the development of the characters, I'm okay to not have the conclusions of the characters that we're gonna have into the spin-off, but I want conclusions for the characters that we're not gonna have into the spin-off. Like, you've got what I meant. Introduction for the spin-off and the movies, I think that it's going to be really difficult. Again, that's uh, the most difficult part, in fact, about these three things that the writers may need to write. And I said it also after that during the intro, they have something also that they need to do, but it's not really something that they need to write, it's more something that they need to do. It's to make the viewers feel nostalgic, to, to create a certain mood, an emotional mood, a nostalgic mood for the end. The more we are progressing, the more I think that we're gonna have that during the final episode, during the two last minutes of the final episode. We'll see. Tell me what did you think about that episode? What do you want also for these two final episodes that we're gonna have? It's really, you know, the final countdown. <laughs> right there for, for The Walking Dead. Tell me that in the comments. If you are watching this on YouTube, just know that on Patreon they add this video with an extended reaction part since Monday already. They add it on Monday. So if you want for the next episode, see episode 23 and 24 to have these reaction videos earlier, 
Gone My Passion and also with an extended All For Action part. For this one I think that I'm gonna put the extended reaction part but I said it for the final episode. Maybe I'm gonna put some for action part at some point. <laughs> okay, it's all for me and for you for today, so it's all for me for now, so bye for now. Bye. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Doc. Uh, are you telling me that you built a time machine? Hey. <laughs>